Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here, and uh, I'm finally doing my demo of my uh, new rig. Well, it's not that new. I've had it for a couple months now. I'm finally doing a demo of my trusty Dean ML uh, 79 and my Jet City 20 watt combo, which uh, you can't see yet. But first off, we're gonna talk about the Dean. This is a Dean uh, ML. You know, it's a typical uh, ML shape made famous by such players as Dimebag Daryl, uh, Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. Sammy Hagar on the uh, I Can't Drive 55, he had a red one though, and a bunch of other players from the 80s, I can't list them all, <laughs> but you've probably seen this in a lot of uh, 80s music videos, no doubt. But this is the uh, 79 model in a blue burst, and this particular finish is quite rare actually. I tried finding this guitar for like the longest time on eBay, and it wouldn't show up, and what it would, it'd be outrageously priced, like six or seven hundred dollars. Uh, but fortunately, I got this bad boy for a little over 500 um, at Guitar Center. They uh, shipped it out to me and everything. I think it was like 5:30 with shipping. Well, that's with shipping included and all that fun stuff. So, uh, good deal. Oh, by the way, uh, the back is black. Um, I know on some pictures it has like a kind of a trans transparent blue, but um, don't be fooled. It's all black. And uh, you got Grover tuners on the back which are seriously like the best fucking tuners ever. You go Grover, you go home. Seriously. <laughs> um, Mother of Pearl inlays. I guess these are like a medium jumbo frets. I don't think they're jumbos. They're a tad smaller. Uh, they're pretty nice. The one thing I just love about Dean's, and especially with this guitar, is the neck. I know that on like the Razorback models, it has like the exaggerated V, where the like radius of the neck is like it's an actual V, but here it's a lot, it's a lot smoother. It's a lot more tapered. It's, you know, you just have to pick one up to feel it. So that, that's one of the things I love about Dean's is the neck, and also the fact that you know it's a pretty solid instrument. That's that's one of the things I love about Dean. You know, it's a real, it's a real man's instrument, and you know, you get good looks, good feel, at a good honest price. That's what I love about Dean. And uh, also, we've got to get into electronics. Um, these are uh, two Dean-based humbuckers. I don't think they're the, uh, the custom shop. I don't think the Dean custom wound pickups uh, were around when this guitar was released. So it's just standard stock Dean pickups, and uh, they're okay. Nothing really to write home about, to be honest. Um, I'll probably change them out later I, you know, when I get some money. <laughs> yeah, also the electronics are a little... Uh, little uh, cracky, crackly, whatever. So, you know, typical volume knob, uh, crackliness, like, uh, you know, give it a quick demonstration. So, you can hear that little crackliness. But yeah, nothing a good old cleaning can't fix. So, enough about the guitar, on to the amp. All right, this is the Jet City uh, 20 watt combo. Um, it's a 112 combo, that means that there's one 12 inch speaker inside. And uh, unlike a lot of combo amps, this has an eminence speaker. Uh, most combo amps have Celestian speakers or uh, basic like generic no name speakers. <laughs> but this one is actually an eminence speaker, so it's, it's pretty unique among uh, most combo amps. And uh, it's designed for the amp. It's okay, um, it works. And especially at this price point, you know, it's just, this amp is like a, you know, it's a friggin' bargain, dude. Not not gonna lie. Here's the uh, settings I have it on now. I have it on a, uh, a super duper clean setting. Now, a lot of owners of this amp, uh, one of their big complaints about this amp is that it doesn't have a super duper clean setting. And, you know, you get that nice, like, tubby, slightly overdriven Fender sound, but you don't get a nice, like, a rolling jazz chorus, like, a, a la clean Metallica sort of sound, and uh, I disagree. You just have to find the right settings. And uh, also, presence is important. I crank the ever-loving shit out of that thing. So, And also, uh, another thing to note, um, if you're limited on space like I am, uh, this combo is actually a bit bigger than most 112 combos. And uh, just to give you an idea of scale, here is my uh, Droid 2 Global Phone. Pretty awesome. Okay, we'll put it on the panel about here-ish. 
See? There it is in relation to that. Also, there's my cork tuner, which has been with me since the friggin' beginning. And is like the most awesomest tuner ever. Go cork. And also to give you an, uh, guys an idea of scale as far as uh, actual height, here is uh, my droid phone in the corner compared to my amp. So as you can see, it's not humongous, but for a little 112 combo, especially a 20 water, <laughs> it's definitely uh, a lot bigger than I expected. So yeah, plan accordingly if you uh, are uh, short on space. And also something to note, this is a uh, one channel combo. So I don't have a like a drive switch, you know, a switch between clean and drive. So the only way for me to actually be able to get uh, you know, higher gain tones is to actually adjust the gain manually. Now you could also remedy this by getting like either a boost switch or like a boost pedal or like a you know, like a basic stomp box, you know, just a distortion stomp box, something to boost the gain so you don't have to sit there and like or just do it the Van Halen way, you know, crank your volume down low for nice cleans, crank the back, fuck back up for uh, ripping leads. So, your call. Oh, also, uh, Jet City is going to be coming out with a, uh, a dual channel version of this combo. No word yet on prices or when it's going to be released, but I'm guessing it's going to be sometime this year, so uh, stay tuned for that.